What's going on everybody? This is Tony from Strictly Beta MTG and I'm coming to you now with a Green Blue Infect for uh, George Doty requested a $40 budget modern Infect deck. So we've got this at $41 rounding up a little bit there just to be on the safe side. Uh, we've got four copies of Glistener Elf basic uh, one drop with Infect just need to have that one drop after that we've got four copies of Blight Mamba uh, this is another Infect guy, he's going to be one of our two drops and he's got Regenerate and that's very useful for us here so we just had to have him after that we've got four copies of Blighted Agent the other two drop with Infect and this one happens to be unblockable which is really handy for us being able to consistently and constantly get our Infect damage through and all around it's just really invaluable uh, so let's dive into the spell list here. We've got 28 spells. Starting off that list, we've got a free pump spell. We've got Mutagenic Growth. Uh, plus two, plus two for two life is pretty much unbeatable. So, yeah. <laughs> Moving right along, we've got another uh, Phyrexian spell. We've got four copies of Jataxian Probe. This is where uh, bulk, uh, the bulk of the money was spent on the deck actually. It's about three dollars and eleven cents on TCG player and we needed four of them because it's going to let us cycle through to other pump spells as well as uh, give us information on our opponent's hand for uh, the protection spells that we may need to hold up for as well as Blight Mamba's regeneration effect. Either way uh, that information is very useful and somewhat vital sometimes to making the deck work. So let's move on to the protection spells real quick. We've got two copies of Apostle's Blessing, which is another Phyrexian spell. It's going to be a cuddleless and two life for us all the time. Uh, it is just a cuddleless and a white, but two life for us because we don't have any white sources. Um, after that, we've got four copies of Vines of Vastwood, uh, basically giving our guys hexproof in shorter terms, as well as if we kick it for the additional green mana, it's going to be a plus four, plus four pump. And that's really huge. That's really good. Um, after that, we've got our Giant Growth. Typical pump spell. Not much else to say there. It's Giant Growth. <laughs> Makes our guys giant. After that, we've got two copies of Rancor. This is uh, the third card where we spent the bulk of our money at $3.18 for, the two co for uh, one copy apiece. But we have two of them in here. Uh, plus three, plus O. Oh, handy for all of our guys. It's a one mana pump, basically. On top of that, it gives them Trample, so Glistener Elf and Blight Mamba can get their damage through more effectively. After that, we've got three copies of Wild Size. Um, now we're starting to get to the top of the curve here at three mana. Uh, plus two, plus two, and Trample. Pump Spell, plus Trample to help uh, our non- our uh, blockable guys get their damage through, as well as drawing a card to help us dig for other pump spells and whatnot. After that, we've got three copies of Steady Progress, which is going to let you uh, help us finish out the game with that Proliferate in case one of our guys gets removed. Um, being able to put that one last counter on there is really helpful. After that, uh, draws a card so we can keep cycling for more pump spells and things. After this, we've got the actual top of our curve at six mana, Become Immense. Realistically, we can delve this down to three or two, sometimes even one mana, and... Uh, a plus six, plus six pump like that is just a huge blowout when we use it. It's amazing. It is... It's amazing. <laughs> it is an immense game swinger. Uh, so let's talk about the land base for just a quick second. I've got us running um, 14 forests and six islands, and that's because we've got a couple more blue spells on the board, and we just want to make sure we've got the blue for Blighted Agent and Steady Progress, and occasionally Jataxian Probe when you don't want to pay the two life for it. Uh, we're not running any duels or any fetches or anything, and that was to save on the budget. Um, that's one of the main areas for improvement, really, is dual lands and fetch lands to thin your deck and whatnot. After that, let's move on to the sideboard. We've got three copies of Nature's Claim. This is basically against any artifact or enchantment heavy deck. Um, Affinity and Tron are the two that come to mind. Uh, but there are plenty of other one, other decks that take uh, 
uh, that abuse those sorts of things. So by all means, use it against whatever you need to. And don't worry about the four life gain. We're an infect deck. We don't care. You may as well not read that line of text. Uh, after that, we've got three copies of Pithing Needle. And we just really want to see this against certain matchups, like uh, Death Cloud and Tron, where they've got Liliana of the Veil and uh, Karn Liberated, respectively. And those cards can just wreck us. So we really want to see Pithing Needle in those matchups. Uh, and at the same time, they're also handy for any other deck that you come across that ends up running Planeswalkers. This is your way to sort of combat that. After that, we've got three copies of Reality Shift, because you just need removal sometimes. You could also use Pongify or Rapid Hybridization, but they only destroy the creature, they don't exile it, and it also gives them a 3-3 instead of a 2-2. So I felt like Reality Shift was just a better option for us. Though it does cost one more mana, so I'll leave it up to you guys on what y'all would like to use there. After that, we've got uh, four copies of Spell Pierce. This is the third card where we spent the bulk of our money at $1.86, so about two bucks a copy here. And we just need this um, extra help here. It helps protect our infected guys from things. It helps... Uh, shut down Affinity and Storm and Tron and things like that, so there's plenty of different uh, uses for Spell Pierce, and that's why we had to have it in here. And that's why it's a four of. So, Spell Pierce. Uh, I guess you could run Remand in counter option to this, but Remand is going to be that extra, extra cuddleless mana, and yeah, that's that's about it. It's, it's just the extra cuddles. So if you've got Remand, by all means, but it is about five or six bucks right now, I want to say. So it's still fairly uh, pricey compared to this. After that, we've got uh, the last card on the board is two copies of Tesserit's Gambit. Arguably, you could swap out uh, Tesserit's Gambit with Steady Progress and have uh, three Gambits and put something else in the board as a two of. But I didn't want to clog us up with Phyrexian spells, just two in the board in case we need the extra card advantage. Or maybe we want to see Proliferate more, just because it's going to help us uh, close the game out. And that's going to do it for the deck. So let's throw up those power ratings and talk about those for just a second. Um, the deck is really fast. It's really fun. Um, in fun, this is just... Wow, it's right up there to 10, maybe 11. It's so much fun when you're piloting this and playing. Uh, it's not very fun for your opponent, though. <laughs> it is not fun to play against Infect. Um, yeah. It is fairly consistent. Uh, there's plenty of four ofs and plenty of pump spells and whatnot. Uh, it does sometimes have to mulligan a lot. You just... If you don't have one of the Infect creatures in your hand, you're gonna have to mulligan. Do not take a hand that doesn't have a creature. You will regret it. <laughs> you will sorely regret it. And it's going to cut down the speed of the deck and everything else. It just... It's not worth it. Um, our game one is really high. We have a great game one because it's fast and it's new and it's exciting. You know, they're not quite sure what to expect in game one. Uh, however, in game two and three, after boarding, they know what to expect. And that's why it drops down to a five. We just, we've become predictable, and they know what we're going to do. We're going to throw an infect guy out there and start pumping him up. So as long as they have a way to remove it and deal with it, they've got us. So uh, that's why we also have Spell Pierce in there for extra protection for those guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> all in all, it's uh, a fairly up-in-the-air thing in Game 2 and 3. Uh, you can still pull off wins, but... You know, if your opponent's prepared for it like they should have, then you can just as easily lose. It it all comes down to your draws. So, yeah, that's um, that's gonna wrap it up for the deck tech. <coughs> Excuse me there. Um, that's gonna wrap it up for the deck tech. And let's talk about some upcoming content real quick. We've got more origin spoilers coming out, and. Uh, 
I've got the uh, Soulfire Grandmaster deck deck that we had requested. I've got a Soul Tie Mill deck that was done as a challenge request. I'm going to try and keep that as budgeted as I can, but a uh, three color budget deck is going to be a little difficult, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun to try and pull off. Uh, on top of that, I've got a Soul Tie Reanimator that I'm cracking and trying to make work, make work. Um, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, the Soul Tie Reanimator there is going to take you uh, make use of a couple cards that aren't seeing that much play, and I feel like they should, especially since in testing they've been pretty helpful to me actually. So on that note, I'm gonna go get back to work. Uh, Editing things and testing things and trying to get some of that content pushed out for y'all. I should have a lot of the stuff coming up within the next couple days, actually. Um, now that I've got some technical difficulties worked out. So, yeah, this is Tony from Strictly Better MTG, and I'm signing off. Y'all have a good one.